Drop a like and do share. Leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos. Hello students, my name is Niyati Said and thanks for watching Edipedia World videos. My topic for the presentation is second section of the chapter photosynthesis students. Okay, so in this section of the video, we will discuss about the phases of photosynthesis. As I told you, that photosynthesis takes place in two con sequential stages first light dependent reaction and second light independent reaction or calvin cycle students okay so first we will study about the photosynthesis light reaction just as the name implies light dependent reactions they require sunlight in the light dependent reactions energy from sunlight is absorbed by chlorophyll and converted into stored chemical energy in the form of electron carrier molecule that is NADPH. Full form of NADPH is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate students. So, it is seen that in light dependent reactions, energy from sunlight is absorbed by chlorophyll okay, and converted into stored chemical energy in the form of electron carrier molecule that is NADPH and energy currency molecule that is ATP students. Okay, so in light dependent reactions, ATP and NADPH is formed. The light dependent reactions takes place in thylakoid membrane in the grana. Grana is a stack of thylakoid which is present within the chloroplast students. I have already taught you all this in detail in my previous section of the presentation. So for better understanding, please refer to that presentation before this presentation. Okay. So, photosynthesis light reaction, this reaction of photosynthesis requires light and it occurs in thylakoid membrane. In this reaction, the light knocks the reaction center of chlorophyll, which are found in chloroplast students. The chlorophyll starts to vibrate, which results in a splitting of water molecule that is H2O and oxygen, which is released into air. And remaining molecules of hydrogen from water remains in chloroplast and gets attached to NADP. Okay. In this phase of photosynthesis, that is light dependent reaction, there is loss of energy along the electron transport chain to recharge ATP from ADP. Okay. So in this process, light energy gets converted into chemical energy and finally ATP molecules are produced okay so equation of light reaction is ADP plus NADP plus water give rise to ATP plus NADPH plus H ion and O2 okay now come to the photosynthesis dark reaction students okay this dark reaction it takes place in the stroma that is matrix of chloroplast okay this takes place in your stroma and light uh, sorry photosynthesis dark reaction is also known as calvin cycle students okay the calvin cycle it takes place in stroma it uses energy derived from uh, light dependent reaction compounds to make GA3P from CO2. I'll tell you what it is. Okay. So the reaction of the photosynthesis does not require light in case of dark reaction. That's why its name is dark reaction or light independent reaction because it doesn't require light and it occurs in the stroma which is also known as matrix or bed of chloroplast students. In this reaction, the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere gets combined with hydrogen from water molecule to form glucose. Okay, so uh, as we know, the formula of water is H2O. So the 
hydrogen atom from the water molecule gets combined with the CO2 to form glucose students. Okay. In this process, produced ATP molecules are converted into simple sugars. In this phase of photosynthesis, ATP and NADPH are used to produce energy and glucose sugar is synthesized from carbon dioxide and hydrogen. So this reaction is called as light independent reaction students. Okay. Now what's an equation for dark reaction? ATP plus NADPH plus CO2 give rise to ADP plus NADP plus glucose. Okay. Here it was triphosphate got converted into diphosphate. ATP means adenine, adenine triphosphate and ADP means adenine diphosphate. And uh, here it is also NADPH and it got converted into NADP and re result is glucose. Okay. So this was about the light independent reaction which takes place in the stroma. Okay, students. Although the light independent reactions do not use light as a reactant, but they require the products of the light dependent reactions to function. The light independent molecules, they depend on the energy carrier molecules such as ATP, which we, which here is the reactant. This was the product in case of light dependent reaction but here it is reacted okay so uh, it requires or it depends on the energy carrier molecule which is ATP and NADPH to drive the construction of new carbohydrate molecule and that is your glucose students after the energy is transferred, the energy carrier molecule return to the light dependent reaction to obtain more energized electrons. In addition, several enzymes of light independent reactions are activated by light students. Okay, I hope it is clear to you now. Let's proceed towards the photosynthesis reaction. It is an overall chemical reaction which is involved in the process of photosynthetic uh, that is six molecules of carbon dioxide, six molecules of water along with the sunlight give rise to a hexo sugar which we call it as glucose students and along with the glucose six molecules of oxygen are also expelled out. Okay. This oxygen is uh, expelled from the plant body for humans or for animals so that they can ingest uh, or, or they can respire, okay, so that they can inspire oxygen and expel CO2 and that CO2 which is expelled from the animal's body is taken up by the plant's body. That's why CO2 is here reactant and O2 is your product in case of photosynthesis reaction students. Okay. Now what's the chemical equation for the photosynthesis? The basic equation for the photosynthesis is deceptively simple. In reality, the process includes many steps involving intermediate reactants and products. Glucose is the major or primary energy source in cells is made from 2, 3 carbon that is GA3P molecules. Okay. So this is the uh, photosynthesis uh, equation where uh, carbon dioxide and water acts as reactants in place uh, or in presence of sunlight it gives rise to sugar which we uh, call it as glucose that is C6H12O6 students and uh, O2 is released. Okay. Now photosynthesis. Light reaction. Light dependent reaction rather. Okay. So energy conversion reactions. It converts solar energy into chemical energy as I told you. ATP and NADPH are 
produ are produced from this kind of uh, uh, reaction okay uh, I, I told you that in light dependent reaction as the name implies light dependent reactions they require sunlight and in the light dependent reaction energy from the sunlight is absorbed by chlorophyll okay as you can see that this light is absorbed by the chlorophyll okay uh, and it is uh, converted into stored chemical energy in the form of electron carrier molecule that is NADPH as you can see that NADPH and ATP it is uh, converted into stored chemical uh, energy in the form of electron carrier molecule that is your NADPH and ATP okay students uh, and ATP is your energy currency okay and electron carrier is NADPH here okay so the light dependent reaction it takes place in the thylakoid membrane in the granum okay grana we call it as a stack of thylakoid which is present within the chloroplast students okay so this was uh, about the light reaction where they produce uh, ATP and NADPH and uh, now it uh, or these two they get incorporated into the dark cycle that we call it as uh, Calvin cycle because they both are interrelated students okay they both are very much uh, interrelated so in light independent reaction or Calvin cycle students don't get confused between Calvin cycle and light independent reaction they both are same okay that because they do not require light it is independent of light that's why it is called as uh, light independent reaction or Calvin cycle students okay so in a light independent reaction or Calvin cycle the energized electron from uh, light dependent reaction it provide energy to form carbohydrate from carbon dioxide molecules as i told you that these atp and nadph it goes and get incorporated in the calvin cycle and atp and nadph in case of calvin cycle it acts as reactant whereas for the light uh, dependent reaction it was product atp and nadph but it is now uh, reactant which is acting as a reactant in case of Calvin cycle students okay so um, it forms carbohydrate from uh, carbon dioxide molecules the light independent reactions they are sometimes called as Calvin cycle because of the cyclical nature of the process students okay although the light independent reaction do not use light as a reactant because you can see that it doesn't require light see light is required here in the light dependent reaction whereas it is not required in case of Calvin cycle but uh, they require the product of light dependent reaction to function what are the products of light dependent reaction ATP and NADPH so Calvin cycle it require ATP and NADPH as reactant to form the product of light um, uh, independent okay so the light independent molecules they depend on the energy carrier molecule that is your ATP and NADPH to drive the construction of new carbohydrate molecule after the energy is transferred energy carrier molecules they return to the light dependent reactions to obtain see as you can see that uh, once it is done it uh, gives uh, uh, ADP and NADPA plus to the um, it can you know uh, after the energy is transferred the energy carrier molecule they return to the light dependent reaction so it has uh, converted into or derived uh, into the light reactions students to obtain more energized electrons then they can get converted into ATP uh, and NADPH okay respectively in addition several enzymes of light independent reaction they are activated by light students okay so this is how it is uh, they both are correlated with each other okay now what's the function of photosynthesis students the photosynthesis is a process of converting radiant energy of sun into chemical energy of plant tissue 
it evolves molecular oxygen for use by other living organisms. It maintains the level of atmospheric oxygen which is continuously consumed by plants and animals during respiration. Okay. Photosynthesis, uh, by the process of photosynthesis, carbohydrates are produced okay that are used by plants and animals to synthesize organic acids protein fat nucleic acids that is dna and rna um, pigments hormones vitamins alkaloids and other metabolites okay another function of photosynthesis is that it produces huge quantity of organic matter for sustaining the life on earth okay for example natural fibers drugs vitamins gums rubber furniture etc okay so these are the major functions of photosynthesis now come to the photosynthesis flow chart students light enters chloroplast of uh, leaf cells chlorophyll present in the grana captures light energy a part of energy is used to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen i told you now the splitted oxygen molecule they are released into the air and the splitted hydrogen molecule they are carried to the stroma okay for maintaining that uh, uh, h plus gradient okay and uh, unused energy is stored in the stroma of the chloroplast this is splitted uh, hydrogen molecule they are carried to the stoma and carbon dioxide enters into leaves Stroma combines the molecules of hydrogen and carbon dioxide to students. The then that produce carbohydrates as are carried to the other plant cells. Okay. Now, what are the steps of photosynthesis, students? In all green plants, this process occurs in the leaf. Carbon dioxide and oxygen it enters and exits the leaves through pores, which we call it as guard cells, which is present in a stomata. Okay, water gets delivered to the leaves from root through a vascular system that is your xylem. Xylem is a conducting tissue that helps in conduction of water from roots to the entire upper part of the plant body. Okay. The chlorophyll present in the chloroplast of leaf cells help in absorbing sunlight. Okay. Now chlorophyll and other carotenoids it help in transferring light energy. Okay. And photosynthesis is carried out in two process or two phases, sorry. The light reaction and the dark reaction. Light reaction produce carbohydrates by using ATP and NADPH okay and the dark reaction it synthesizes your sugar from carbon dioxide with the help of ATP and NADPH okay so this was all about the phases of photosynthesis in my next section of the presentation we will study about more about the Kelvin cycle and that is your light dependent reactions okay so till then stay tuned and keep watching edwidia word videos thank you